okay welcome to all of you i want to share or i want to show you how you can buy any coin or cryptocurrencies from your balance application to fund your various uh, trading platform or investment platforms it cuts across okay so this is your balance account okay this is your balance account um this is your balance account now you have you want to fund your investment wallet be it any investment at all so this is how it goes you make sure you verify your account okay you make sure you verify your account so let me come to home this is my home button we have the pro and then the the is it the elite or the elite however you call it okay so i want to turn it to the elite way so i click here i click here where the human symbol is you click on it you can see this area if you click on it you see balance light yeah this is the word this is the light so the light uh, normally you cannot perform you are limited to some functions so if normally new members this is how your back office may look like it will be in the light form it will be in the light form so this is all you do if it is in the light form you click here but then you make sure you verify your account you can use any of your id uh, id cards be it driver license passport or maybe your country uh, card okay so if your back office is like this so this is what you do you click on where i have showed this area where the human symbol is you tap on it then you turn to the pro you see this area it is on the light so if you tap on it you turn it to pro so if your account is verified you see that this area where i've circled it is being verified then you can then buy any coin from the site if it is not verified you cannot do anything okay so you tap on it then it will turn to Binance pro with the pro you can see the back office there are a lot of functions that you can do here you can do anything here you can do anything here with the pro so now this is my back office i want to buy dallas be it usdt trc20 trc erc20 btc or whatever so if you click on my wallet here below here okay click on my wallet okay this is where your balance your whatever will show so now we want to buy you click on my treats click on treats where i've circle i tap on trees okay then you come to fiat here where i've circle top you click on fiat then you select your country currency you can see the drop down arrow click on it i click on it then i select my country currency this is a uh, united arab emirate so you scroll down to select if you're in nigeria if you're in ghana whatever then you select i'm in ghana i'm in ghana okay i select ghana cities then here you can 
you can pay with Visa card or whatever. You can pay with Visa Mastercard. So after you've set it to your country currency, you click on P2P here. Click on P2P. Then if you click on P2P, these are the various coins that you can buy or sell. These are the various coins that you can buy or sell. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we want to buy. You make sure it is on buy. Okay. So these are the various. If it is USDT, you make sure it is on USDT. If the BTC, it is there. BUSDT, BNB. You make sure it is there. Now we want USDT. So these are the the, the sellers. These are the sellers. Each one and his or her price. I'm using Ghana CD, that's all you can see Ghana CD. So per your country, you see your currency symbol there. So you scroll down and choose the one that you want. You choose the one that you want, okay? You choose the one that you want. Okay, now uh, let's assume um, I want I want to buy from this the first one. So normally always check too. You can see a uh, crypto amount. The person is having 1,206 USDT. So the limit you can buy is between 300 Ghana CDs to 9,000. Okay. Uh -huh. So also take that into consideration. And then, so you scroll down to see the one that you can buy from, I mean the least amount. So from here, you can buy from 500 Ghana CDs and above. So always consider that this one too, you can buy 400 Ghana CDs and above. Uh -huh. So here you can buy 200. So let me try buying. No, I won't buy. I want to try. So this for educational purposes. So you tap on buy. You tap on buy. Then you enter the amount. How much do you want to buy? You can decide to let it to be on the fiat or you can let it to be here. So if I enter 300 Ghana CDs, it will give me an equivalent of 39 USDT. Or I don't want the fiat way. I want it in the crypto way. I'll bring it here. Uh -huh. Then I'll enter, let me say, 100 USDT. Then to give me an equivalent of um, 761 Ghana CDs, okay? Okay, now, after that, you click on buy. If you click on buy, it will take you to the next page. This is your order number. Okay. This is your order number. You can copy it down or you leave it. Uh -huh. Then you select, you can decide to read the terms and conditions. You can decide to read the terms and then conditions. Okay. So, what you do, you make, you click on make payments. Click on make payment. If you click on make payment, the seller's details will come. This is the name, the mobile money number. Yes. Uh, that is it. You write it down, then you pay. Then you click on notify transfer notify seller. So you tap on it. After you pay, okay, after you are done with the payment, if you get here, you pay. Then after you've paid, you tap on this place. Then you click here to notify the uh, seller that you've paid. Then the money will be sent into your account. So I have not, I have not bought anything. So... Let me click on I have not transferred.
tap on it so let's go back you wait for few minutes between five to ten minutes it will reflect in your account so if it reflects this where you see it okay after the money has reflected you will see it you will see it at this point okay now this is what we do you click on wallet you click on my wallet then this is how you see deposit you see withdraw you see transfer okay the money has been sent to your spot wallet so you click on transfer if you click on transfer then you make it probably this is how you see you see spot wallet and then found it then you see this btc okay so you make click this area this arrow here then the founding will come top and then the spot wallet will come down okay so you tap on it you see very good then it is usdt it's not bitcoin we bought usdt so you tap on the arrow here here you click on it then you select the one that you bought okay i bought usdt okay then i enter the amount hundred dollars then i click on max or better still you can enter all the amount if you click on max that is maximum it will enter everything for you then you click on confirm i didn't buy anything that is why the confirm button is not showing if you click on transfer then you can then do business you can then do business after you've done with the transfer then you then come now what platform do you want to send the money to uh -huh. then you then come and click on transfer withdraw you click on withdraw click on withdraw then uh, are you dealing with usdt btc so you search the coin here okay you search the coin here the coin that you are dealing with you search it there so we are interested in bit uh, usdt i tap on it then we have send via crypto network send via email okay you select this one if you're sending it to a site i tap on it then you make sure you enter the address so after that you click on the withdrawal button mine is not showing yeah mine is not showing then that is it you see a message that will pop up telling you that it is successful please subscribe to my channel meeting academy i'll be doing more videos on how to use the banners application thanks for watching